All right, Karan, tell us what you think of the PS Vita. Now, have you ever heard the saying called, passion has no price? Well, that's exactly how I feel right now because believe me when I say this, this is one of the most impressive portable gaming devices I have ever handled in my life. Having said that, I do take your point on pricing. So let's find out if this product is really worth its price. So here is the first detailed review of PlayStation Vita. In terms of hardware, Vita feels ergonomically satisfying from the word go. Considerably lightweight at about quarter of kilo, its screen is flanked by two analog thumbsticks. Above those are the classic PlayStation buttons on the right and D-pad on the left. There are also left and right shoulder buttons, a PlayStation button and start and select buttons. But by far the most noticeable of all is this 5 inches of dazzling OLED touchscreen. It's capacitive multi-touch and as good as Apple's iPhone or iPad. But I'll tell you what's bizarre out here is this multi-touch capacitive rear pad. It has this reverse tactile feel that I am right now using for zoom, but it also tells me how important is touch for future innovations. Rounding off the offering are the front and rear VGA cameras that may or may not be world beating, but are enough to serve their primary purpose, and that's playing augmented reality games. In terms of the user interface, new system looks less like a gaming device menu and more like smartphone's menu system, with everything controlled through the touch screen. The main menu consists of icon-like bubbles representing different games and apps installed on the device. It's also extremely responsive and quick with smooth animation. Performance-wise, Vita's quad-core processor eclipses the PlayStation 2 in power and handles heavy graphics with a rare slowdown. And while the battery life is decent 4 to 5 hours, unfortunately there is no way for consumers to replace it manually. Now in the end, while this Wi-Fi version will cost you nearly 20,000 rupees, a 3G plus Wi-Fi version will cost you a whopping 25,000 rupees. Add to that the fact that a decent 16 GB Vita memory card is another 4,000 bucks. Which means that as far as casual gamers are concerned, they are definitely not touching this product at this pricing. Also, with major launch titles like Uncharted Golden Abyss, Everybody's Golf, Wipeout 2048, Reality Fighters and Little Deviants costing anywhere between 22 to 2800 rupees, things look even more difficult. The Indie TV news app had redefined the entire genre. Now, another market beater. It's already hit number one. Indie TV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news, and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now, ndtvprofit.com slash apps.